Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Planet Zoo, shall we? Well, look at our zoo with all of the fantastic things happening in our new, exciting, bustling center. And I'm going to see... Oh, we finished some vet research. Let me just go over here and... Okay, well... We need to learn about that, and then, um, yep, they'll keep going on that. That's good. So, I think the main thing that we want to be mindful of here is, first of all, checking out our friends in the habitat. So, Croker is down here, and, um, you know, we can turn the camera on so we can see Croker, but Croker's kind of in the water. And then... The other animal in here uh, is Ribbit, right? Where where are you? Um, animals. Ribbit, actually. And then let me see. Oh, she's over here. And... Well, it's kind of hard to see her, too, obviously. If she's going to be so modest in the, in the space. Now, here's what we need to do that's important. <laughs> we can look at this ridiculously awesome tiger, this Bengal tiger exhibit that we've got going with, you know, Galadriel, the head female of the pack here. I don't know what you call a bunch of tigers, pack, group, clan, cadre. And then we have all these baby Bengal tigers that are just doing it up having a blast, and then Gandalf is apparently getting some water. So that is our amazing tiger exhibit. Our elephant exhibit has just been redone with thicker glass, so um, the animals can't escape. Now, she's hungry. I wonder why that is. What's going on over here, people? You guys not feeding the elephants? We got a problem? Oh, this animal's passed out. Jar Jar Banks, the escapee. Yeah, there's like poop everywhere. I gotta talk to my staff about this. This is outrageous. Um, yeah, the keepers. This keeper is like tired. So maybe I need an extra keeper just to help things along because I don't like what I'm seeing. Let me look at the elephant encampment and check maintenance. It's they're coming monthly. Um, all right, so we're just gonna hire another keeper. I'm gonna drop that keeper like right in there, and then I'm going to go to work zones and just say, "Hey, you're at the zoo entry." Boom, and maybe they can get on it. Now, our good friend of the channel, Crab, was so generous. And has donated money so that I can, I was able to purchase the aquatic pack for the game. And so what that's going to do for us is give us the opportunity to get penguins and otters, which is, you know, so fantastic. Now let's just check this exhibit. And our poison frogs are in here relaxing. Here's one, um, I believe. Or maybe that's a, a twig. Sometimes my eyes. Oh god, we look how many we have in here. Is this are they okay with that? I guess so. Oh, they're tiny. I was thinking they were big like the Goliaths, but look, no no no. These animals are super tiny. These little frogs are like that. Okay. Now I get it. Alright. So let me look at my situation. And everything is actually going really, really well uh, for our zoo in terms of people visiting and being happy. We could use more money, you know, always. So I'm going to unpause it and just see how it unfolds for a while. And think about if I went to animal trading and I wanted to find, um, you know, a uh, reset filter and I wanted to find a penguin... Um, a king penguin, right? Here they are. 
So the pack is active, the penguins are here, and, you know, I could get some, and I could buy some for cash. And because of that, I think we should buy some. All right, so let me say like this, well, that's not a very good one. What about this one? No, sometimes the ones you can get for cash are just bad. But there's only one page. I want to check the Zoopedia on them. How many king penguins do they want in a in a group? Oh my god. Six to five hundred? So they don't really care. They're monogamous. That is unbelievable. All right, I love that. Okay, so I do want to build penguins. And we could do some kind of cool thing where we wrap the path around and build the habitat back here so that it could be, you know, serviced by or seen by all. Um, and then the, the, the roads would connect. And that's definitely possible. But it might be ironic to put penguins right next to the camels, given the com extreme change in temperature. All right. Now, if I were to build uh, an exhibit, and I were to say, uh, reset this, and say we want um, Nile monitors. Um, oh, they report the inspector left. And what is this? Oh, we got a five-star rating. My gosh, we did it, everybody. Great. Well, how exciting is that, monitor? Um, I guess I don't have Nile monitors. I thought I kind of did. Um, but apparently not. I do not have that animal. Sorry, nurse incompetent. I don't have that animal. All right. Um... Let me get over here. Let's just make sure that all the animals are okay. And one thing you can do for that is you can just click on the heat map and then you can click on um, animal, animal welfare rather, and just see like based on the color coding, how happy they are. And they look pretty good, right? I, I see all green. So fantastic. All right, um, we are gaining and losing money. Gaining and losing, gaining and losing, and that's bad. I don't want to be losing money. I want this zoo to be raking in the dough. All right, so people are wandering over here, for example, to check out the elephants, and they are throwing in money, right? There's, well, no, they're not throwing in money. There's not enough money there. But what... I might want to start building some more places for people to spend money, you know? Now, we're just kind of, like, hemorrhaging money. Let me see what people say. They're hungry. They're heading to a donation box. All right, cool. They're buying stuff from the vending machine. So she's hungry, right? She's like, hey, give me some food. The tiger says I'm doing well. But I need to um, start making more money. So let me look at my zoo and go to the overview. And maybe I need to bump up ticket prices a little bit. There. Now, hopefully... They don't get upset about that. Wow, look at this. Is this Jar Jar? Oh yeah, eating from this like hanging feeder. That is awesome. They're having a ball. All right, so sometimes what I like to do, oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is a good reminder. Look at all this trash. And um, there's rubbish all over the place. People hate this. I forgot to build trash cans. So let me quickly start throwing in um, trash cans, you know, so people can throw away their stuff instead of putting it wherever, 
Yikes. That's my fault. A little embarrassing. Okay, let's go ahead and throw in some more uh, trash cans for people. Yeah, because I have enough, um, you know, of the workers that just walk around the groundskeepers. I, so it's not, that's not an issue. It's just the fact that uh, I didn't have enough trash cans out here. Also, I could build some cool, like, benches for people to chill on. Sometimes people get tired, right? And so you can just be like, hey, like this is kind of the chill spot if you want. And we can put some more of these in. Like, hey, you want to chill out here, you know, or uh, even here or here, you could like chill here and see what's going on. Any other places for benches to let people relax? Yeah, people could sit here if they wanted. They could sit here. It's always nice to just have places for people to chill. That's my fault for forgetting about that. There we go. Cool. And then... Uh-huh. Yep, just all kinds of places where people can relax. And then we'll just put some more trash cans in. Just so there's not any funny business with people's rubbish. Because apparently there has been. We don't like it. There. There. Alright, I'm pausing it. Let's see if this cleans up our situation. See if some of this trash gets picked up. You're getting another bin. I don't care. I don't care how many bins you got. Okay. Um, man, this... That's got a lot of money in it. Scenery rating 31. I know. I know. It's not beautiful. Please don't judge. Oh, we got a VIP guest. Let's say hello. All right, fantastic. And then let's see what challenges we've got. Crime, release an African elephant to the wild. Oh, boy. Oh, look at this, everybody. Camel love. We got pure, unadulterated camel affection happening here. And that's great. All right, so another thing I can do here while I'm chilling is remember, um, oh, let me pause it. What is this? Vet research complete. Oh, good. We're done with two of them, actually. So now we can just kind of go into researching some other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. There we go. Uh, my buddy Nurse Incompetent was reminding me that I can put some Springbok in um, the same habitat as the elephants, right? So I could just take, like, this one. Well, that one's sick, probably. Oh, God. Man, some of these animals are not doing well. I can't spend all my conservation points on it. So Springbok, I want, right? Um, it's just these animals are terrible. The immunity is bad. Um, all right, so we'll just wait. We're going to get Springbok, but we have to wait until they get better ones available that aren't as injured. All right, so the frogs have had offspring, and this means that this, the habitat <laughs> is too crowded. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of these animals. Um, 
Oops. We're going to go to the uh, animal list, and we're just going to click on some of these young adults. Uh, Dolores and Eduardo, Erlene, and um, Fernando. We're going to uh, send them to the Trade Center, and then hopefully that gets this place going. Um, you can't find a, a staff room? No, nah, they found it. Um, all right, let me go to animals. It looks like we still too have too many, so let me just take out a few more of the females and see how we're doing. Three and three, perfect. All right. Um, now we're going to go to our animal trading center and just go to animal storage. And did all of our frogs get here yet? Not yet. Oh, no, maybe it's exhibit storage. Here we go. All right, and so we can select all of them. And... Um... Maybe, maybe not all of these, but some of these we can release to the wild, right? No, none of them we can. All right. So we're going to select them all, and we're just going to quick trade. Good. So we got a little bit of money, and then we cleaned out our frog situation. So that's something that happens, and it's nice with the exhibits. It's like an extra way to make money. They just, um, oops. Right? Like, look at this. We have too many animals here. We have too many males. So we can just take out these and uh, send them away. And then we're good there. And then we're just going to go to exhibit trading again. Exhibit storage. Select all. And quick trade. Confirm. Perfect. All right. So now we made even more money. And those habitats are taken care of. Uh, looks like we got a new challenge here. Increase African ele elephant rate education rating to 7%. Okay, well, that's going to be dicey. But we need to keep researching them. That'll help. There you go. That definitely helps. All right, great. Okay, we're back up to 36,000. Let me go to animal trading again and just see if they got some new spring books. They did. I'm going to pause it. Um, I see some different ones in here. Yeah, this one's fine. Oh, this one's pretty good. All right, so we're going to adopt this female. And do you have any other males that are any better? No. Man, what a bummer. All right, we'll get some ladies that are reasonable. Okay. Send a zoo and go in there. And then let me go back to animal trading. Hmm, I'm not too thrilled about some of the stats on these, so we'll take one and see how it goes. Hmm. Still some trash on the ground in this area, but hopefully the uh, custodian comes and takes care of it. Our cash situation is going way up. So now we're we're doing pretty well. Um, conservation rating went down, though. That's an unbelievable shame. Well, you know what we do for that. We're just going to go to facilities, and we're going to go to um, educational facilities. And... We're going to build some conservation boards. People aren't learning enough while they're walking around. Well, we're about to change that. Uh-huh. You bet. Let's see. That's not a great spot for it. But over here, we can definitely squeeze some in. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't believe it. Yep, right here. Uh-huh swivel this baby around like that and then bring it over here check we're going to put another one down uh huh yeah, over here 
there. And then this one is going to be all about... Um, land sharing versus land sparing. And then we'll have one over here that's about... Repairing the ozone layer. That's right. All right, well, I'm pausing. Now people won't believe what we're doing. All right. Good. Better. Okay. And the new animal has arrived. Let's see how the springbok is taking to it. All right. Oh, there's no enrichment for them. All right, so let's go to facilities. Or, I'm sorry, Habitat, and then go to Filters, Species, Springbok. Right here. Close this. And then what I'm going to do is... Just go ahead and give it enrichment, and it wants um, food and toy. And a toy. Put a rubbing pillar over there. Okay. And then now it's just social. They need more of a group. All right, let me check animal trading again, see if we got any new spring box in. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe we did. No, it's just still the same old, same old. All right. But that's okay. We're doing well. All right. Let me go over here then, and... Oh, that's right. You know what? I completely forgot. I bought giraffes in the last episode that I want to put in. So, we might want to build a giraffe. Can giraffes go in with elephants? Or is that not a... Are they not okay with that? Let me look at them. Um, now you can't go to it that easily. Uh, let's see. All right, giraffe. Um, will they relation with humans confident? No. Pause it. Compatible species. They can be with spring books, but they can't be with elephants. However, they could be with, like, you know, buffalo or zebra. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, we could put them with some zebra. So we could build, like, a giraffe and zebra awesome situation. What facility broke down? This vending machine? All right. Get the mechanic urgently on that. And then let's just go back to maintenance. Um, yeah, how about every, th every six months? All right, there we go. People are not going to be happy that that thing exploded. I'm not happy. Okay. So, where would we want to build a big, huge habitat for giraffes? Maybe right along here. Like, maybe we could connect the back wall of it to the to this habitat. So, like, I could just say um, barriers, and we could start building an extended barrier. Um, but it'd have to be much taller. I, I could build it like here, and then I'm going to add one. 
that goes maybe here, right? Now this thing is going to need to be enormous. To do what we're going for. Which is Giraffe Central. Um, no, this is fine. Perfect. All right, so now we have this like huge habitat here. And what we're going to do with this one is edit the barrier, and I'm going to raise it to be taller. It needs to go um, up. Yeah. Um, okay, can we height snap? No, okay. We want these all to be bigger. Uh-huh. I should have done this up front, but it's okay. I don't know how tall you have to make these, by the way. This could be like... They need to be even bigger. For all I know. Raise this up. Raise it up. I don't even care if it's uneven at this point. And we'll just keep going high, high, high for these giraffes. Uh-huh. There we go. I'm going to need to probably raise these walls, too, so the giraffes don't sneak into the camel area. Now, doing this obviously means that the camel... I really have no space to extend the camel place, but that's okay. There we go. Alright. Is it completely uniform? No. But we're getting there. We'll need to put much more glass in, of course. Let me throw in a door, um, and it'll be, like, over here, closer to the existing area. And this is another habitat, and we're going to call this um, the giraffe um, gym. But first of all, is that even how you spell giraffe? It is. That is great. All right. <laughs> now, I do need to see. Let me look at the giraffe again. It needs... Um, it really just needs to have him 6.6 .6 feet, and that's tall enough. So, I kind of thought that you needed to have it super high, but I guess you don't. So, maybe I went a little too haywire. That's okay. How big is this habitat? Um, it is 45,000 square feet. And the giraffe wants... Um, does that say 14 thousand yeah all right great then we should be good for two of them for now with a habitat like this now if we start throwing in a bunch of animals it's going to get nuts but that's what we want we want it to get nuts and then we're going to need to build a separate dining area perhaps and and another staff situation maybe right here something like that uh, in a centralized place for everyone to get to. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. Okay, everybody. Let's keep working on this fabulous giraffe habitat. I think this is going to be sensational when we get it put in. But it's going to require some work. Um, this is broken down. We already assigned someone urgently. We did finish research on ulcerative 
stomatitis, so that's helpful. We're continuing to research elephants. Um, actually, I'm going to take somebody off disease and go into Springbok uh, so we can enrich them properly. We'll close this. Okay, the cosmic cow ice cream. I love this picture for it. It's great. All right. So let me kind of zoom in, and we're going to have to do some surgery here. So we're going to need to continue the path. Oops, wrong button. Right here. Um, and we want, yep. So we're just going to have this path move along, but we need it to be a little bit wider because we're going to be going by the... I think 20 feet is good. We're going to be going right by um, the giraffes here. So we want this to be a formidable oops, size so that there's enough room for everyone. I'm going to kind of curl this. I'm going to make it short so I can do a better job turning the corner here, more precise. Um, and this is fine. Here we go. Yep. And we want coverage all the way around. Now I thought to myself, with this giraffe habitat, I'm going to start going the extra nine as much as I can. Actually, I don't know. I don't have enough money quite yet, but I want to put in some more beautiful habitat features, rock walls, a waterfall, maybe just some really, really stunning stuff mess with the detail and get something um that's that's less you know boxy done um, i'm gonna just push this all the way to here and then i'm gonna check the heat map and make sure that uh we're good that no guests will walk by this and they're good so i could actually even make a triangle and and put the path along here if i wanted but i think i'm not going to do that i think um i'm not going to provide a viewing area on this wall of the habitat and build maybe some concessions here i like to just every once in a while create some private space for the animals even with the you know, the two-way glass, so I could build some shelters over here, maybe. All right. So now we're wrapped all the way around. Uh, this wind turbine is about to break. What's the maintenance like on this? Every three months. Wow. But some nobody's been here for a year. Is it in our work zone? What happened here? Maybe I need more mechanics. Let me go to Zoo. Let me go to... Um, staff. Let me look at my mechanic situation. Oh, I only have two. Yeah, okay, we definitely need another mechanic then. Let me just drop in a new mechanic and then go back to work zones and Drew, you're in zoo entry. Okay, now I also thought this would be fun um, to start giving um names of channel members and patreons to or patrons i should say to people here on the staff so linda darling can be um jacqueline and then ned can be Dylan and Quinn can be Manto and then Abel can I'm just going down uh, my list IPK base and um, this can be Hella uh, and then um Let's see, uh, Crab, our wonderful benefactor, 
And then Bruno can be... Hmm. Terror Kittens and... Um, Kevin Strange we can rename to um, Cowboy Jim and then we've also got let's see um, we can do Kiva oops I pushed the wrong button it broke oh my god what have I done here we go. Kiva. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That looks great. I'm also going to name animals after people, if people are interested. So in the comments, if you want an animal or a staff member named after you, please let me know. And I will try to accommodate the best I can working with the animals that I have or maybe animals in the future. All right. So if this is going to be our giraffe habitat, and by the way, I need to um, go to path and I need to change this path to, yeah, a people path. Okay. We're good. We're walking all the way around. And immediately, we need to edit the barrier and start putting in um, thick glass, although I don't, first of all, I can change this, you know, whenever I want, because I can, but I don't think that giraffes are particularly shy, and I also don't think they can break through, um, barriers with as much ferocity as the elephants can, so I could probably get away with just one-way glass, but now we have a huge open expanse. All right, and then what I'd like to do is go into nature, right? And I'm going to go to filters, and I'm going to just say biome, you know, grassland, continent, Africa for these giraffes, okay? And then I'm going to... I don't care about theme, really. Here we go, and then I'm going to look for rocks, and then I can get, like, some just big rocks, right, and start putting them in. Now, they do take up a good amount of space. Now, this is just cladding. Yeah, and so I could just put this along the wall to make it appear rocky. That's kind of fun. Right? So, I don't think I can make this um, any bigger. But I can make it, you know, just have a better look. Zoom in to make sure I'm getting this correct. Now, I can also, um, you know vary it a little bit so that it it doesn't look quite as similar on all fronts. I don't know how wise this is, but this is what's happening. Mm-hmm. Now the top of the barrier is taller than these rocks, as you can see. But I can always adjust that later, if I need to. But I just wanted to give this habitat itself, like, a different feel. Now, does that poke through too horribly? No, it's okay. Now, I don't want to obstruct the view or the door for the keeper, so that's good. Right, so now we have this kind of, like, rock wall. Um, maybe we continue it over here. It just looks better to me than the uh, barrier wall anyway. And then it allows us to kind of, like, have some fun. Oh, wow, I didn't know you could hold down Z and do this rotation like this. I always thought you had to... Uh, 
That's cool. I always thought you had to use Z to do those more nuanced rotations. Interesting. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have a rock wall. And then we can immediately um, spice it up by putting in some, you know, texture pieces every once in a while on the ground or up top, you know. But we can also just throw in, like, boulders and things like that. You know, just little touches to make this a more interesting space. Okay. Now, from that point, that's a good start. Okay. Um, oh, I can just select rocks only. That would be helpful. Yeah, I'm still learning, everybody. Um, and let me check blueprints and... Um, blueprints only, but take away, what do I have as an option? Oh, I just have these, like, you know, features that you can put in that look good, that they're pre-built, but, um, I need to download some stuff maybe from the Steam store instead of doing what I'm doing. Okay. All right. And then let me go into my animal trading screen and just click on... Oh, oh, actually, let's see if we've got some spring books that we can get that are not awful. Um, let me go into this habitat really quickly. Animals... Oh, we haven't even put the spring box in there. Do we? What do we have in our... Um, storage. I have two giraffes. Oh, did I never get any spring bucks? Well, great. Let's get some. How are you? You're doing great. And you're a male spring buck adopt. And then you're a female and you're not good, but you're good. Your fertility isn't great, but reasonable. Any other females that are reasonable? No. You're small, but you're good. Um, let me check the Zoopedia. What are your situations? You like one male and 35 females? Okay, so we're good getting women. Springbok, or female Springbok, but we don't want any more males. Okay, fair enough. All right, I will... This one is very expensive. I want to see if there's any cheaper um, female. I'm just going to go for... I just want females, please. Um, no, filter it. Do it. Okay, did I not do that right? Confirm? Okay, you have to click confirm. All right. Um, oh my gosh, yes, yes. Just looking for ones that are not 300 conservation points, because that's a little bit steep. We're good. This is good. Okay. And then now what we can do is go to animal trading. And we can go to animal storage. And I can select all of these spring box. And I'm just going to um, say send to the zoo. And we're going to send them right in here. And they're going to do that. Terrific. And then I'm going to select my giraffe. And then I'm going to say send to the zoo. And we're going to send them to this habitat here. And then I'm going to say... Um, what is this? These Indian peafowl. I can't, like, release it. I don't really want them. But, okay, anyway. Um, that's fine. And then I'm going to just wait. And this is the giraffe gym. And we're just going to um, unpause it and see what happens. Uh-huh. All right. 
Um, we do have a visiting player. Let me say hello and get 20 conservation points. And, oh my. Did that elephant die? It looked for a moment like Jar Jar just passed away. But he's quite healthy. Old, but healthy. And he's just sleeping. Okay. So, so that's fine. I thought maybe Jar Jar would want to sleep in these beautiful shelters, but Jar Jar does as Jar Jar does, right? Let me check the zoo and look at the work zones and edit this work zone. Yeah, this habitat is not in the work zone, so we're going to have to add it in. Got it. Oh, we also need to add in this cash machine. Perfect. All right. No wonder nothing was happening. Okay. Unpause. All right. And here they come. Here come the giraffes. They're being thrown in. Bam. All right. I'm just going to wait a second and then I'm going to pause it as they move apart. Confetti is still flying around. Oh my gosh, people. The sun is coming up over the hills on the horizon. The confetti is flying. And look at these giraffes. They look amazing. This is fantastic. All right, let me just raise the camera up. Wow. Wow. All right, so we have a female, and we have a female. Did I not buy a male? Was I not able to get one yet? We'll have to look on the list. Okay. And now it's time to make sure... I have to say, this rock wall doesn't look bad. Th this looks bad, the, the barrier sticking out, but I think I can lower that. I don't think it needs to be this high. So I could just say edit barrier and just kind of um, pull it down a little. It's kind of funny. I'm only doing this for cosmetic reasons. Not not safety reasons. Just cosmetic. I just don't want to see it. I wonder if you can put rocks up on their side like this and use them as a barrier. If they have, like, the qualifications. The game probably won't register it. But, like, you build the wall first... You know, you build the, you use the no barrier option, right? And then you remove it after you put the rocks down. And then you just have like, you know, rock wall for days. Anyway, um, oh, let me click on that barrier and just lower it also just a bit, just a smidge. There we go. I like it. Okay, let's look at what these animals need. So they don't like their enrichment. They hate the terrain and they have no hard shelter. So, number one, they don't want hardly any long grass, and they want soil. So let's go to terrain, and let's go to um, painting, and let's get some uh, light soil and just start working on it. Covering up this grass as much as we can. Just getting rid of the long grass. There we go. We've got the good soil threshold, but there's still too much long grass. So let me just kind of work on this. Putting more and more soil in. Cutting the grass, as it were. Alright. Yeah, it's a little hard sometimes to cut the grass. This is my lawnmower. All right, we're just going to... I'm using this camera angle so it's a little easier to see the grass as we trim it away. Now, they also want rock. So, I'm going to give them uh, some rock in places. Especially over here by these walls. Makes sense to just kind of have some rock here. Uh-huh. Get rid of all this grass. Put rock in. Uh-huh. 
There we go. Now we're all in the green, but I can still do a better job on this long grass. Giraffes don't want it. So let's just make them more at home. Some of what I'm doing is undoubtedly poking through onto the uh, other habitat, and that's a shame, but it happens. I'll, I'll check with the camels later to make sure that they're good. All right. And we can kind of see. There we go. And they want short grass. So I can do that. I can just replace whatever is here with short grass. Try to kill all this long grass. Hopefully they're good now. Yeah, this looks really, really good. All right, hard shelter. So we need to go into habitat and buy shelters. And if we want to keep with the design that we've been using, we can. Oh, they also have this ridiculous. That thing is so big. It's funny. Um, I don't even know if they could fit in here, though, because they're giraffes, right? I don't know. I'm going to put this back in the corner and see what they think about it. Like, is this enough? We'll find out. Hopefully it's tall enough for them. And then environment. The coverage they don't like. But they could use better tropical grassland. So let's go to nature. Let's go to um, filters. And we're going to go to tropical grassland. And we're going to turn off um, blueprints. And we're going to select um, plants. And this is our time to shine with unbelievable plants like this. <laughs> Some of my favorite little guys. Love these. We're almost there on coverage, actually, because of how big these are, in fact. Um, do I want bamboo? Or would I like some... You know, African daisies. I mean, African daisies are hard to resist, aren't they? Uh-huh. Look at how good this is. You just put some daisies here. Pop the color a little bit. And put some daisies on top of the rock. I could put it on the side of the tree. I could do whatever I want. It's like a wreath. We just put it over here. Great. Okay. Now they're happy with that. Enrichment is bad. So we go back to habitat. We go to enrichment items. And we change the filter for species. And we have ourselves some reticulated giraffes. Now we don't know much, unfortunately. <laughs> so we're going to throw in what we do know. But let me look at their overview. They want what kind of enrichment? Food. All right. So I can give them a sprinkler. And they want a food enrichment. Um, oh, boy. I don't even know how to make any. And they also want interspecies. So we'll have to look at what other species we want to get with these fine animals. Now, facilities. Um, we need to go to uh, guest facilities. And the first thing is... We got to start throwing in cash machines or cash catching machines, I should call them, at every single window so that people can just give us money when they see giraffes. And then we need to go to um, media devices. And we're just going to kind of throw up 
Oh, it's all off kilter. Uh, yeah, we're going to go straight up. Thank you. We can put up some signs in various places. Upper left corner. It's like a envelope with a stamp, you know? Just to tell people, hey. Oh, this is not perfectly straight. There we go. We didn't do a good job making things perfectly straight at the zoo. And now they know. Okay. And then we can go to education speakers and just kind of pop these on the plinths. Now we'll have to, of course, turn all these on. But we are reminded that, that the uh, power does not fully extend to this habitat. So we're going to have to change the power structure. And we might also have to build a water filtration system for dealing with this habitat as well. But we'll get to that. Just laying down the basics. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, we probably want um, uh, a habitat webcam. Or 10. And then, where's the uh, speaking point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk point. Probably want one of those here. And maybe here. Okay, great. All right, so we're really coming along. Let me go to animal trading. And then go into um, the market. And we're going to just um, turn off the filter. Or just say we're looking for everything. And then we're going to go for reset filters and we're looking for reticulated giraffe and we need some gentleman giraffes um, this giraffe is tiny unfortunately but everything else is good so we'll take it <laughs> it's funny okay we'll take anything that we can get at this point we got one male giraffe um this male giraffe is okay. Let me look at the Zoopedia. What is their breeding arrangement? They could have um, two males and two females, but I think right now one male and two females is, is fine. All right, I'm going to unpause it and then repause it and just see how her she has changed. She hasn't changed too much. We need to go into animal trading, and we've got this giraffe that we want to send to the zoo there. And then this habitat is coming along marvelously, except for, let me look at the heat map, and let's look at power. And yep, you can very well see that we're going to need to build a wind power or something over here. So I'm going to duplicate this wind turbine and just try to put it in a place that gets good coverage. Unfortunately, it does have um, negative impact on guests, so I need to put it in a place that they won't walk by. So this is reasonable, but let me, um, like if I put this here, let me see what we're doing. We get power pretty much everywhere except for this little sliver. And then we would need to build another one. Um, I don't really need it inside the habitat, but this is good. Okay. So now we would have power. And people walking by this should be cool with it being there because it's far enough off the road, I think. Yeah, they will just walk by it and not be upset by it. So what we need to do is build nature... And I can, like, hide this behind, you know, some dynamic mossy rocks. But I need to get a service path to it. Uh, let me build a little path that is a staff path that goes. It does not need to be 20 feet wide at all. It can be the most narrow path you've ever dreamed of. And just do that. Perfect. 
And then we can build some nature. And... I mean, I'm talking... Now, this isn't big enough. I want, like, just, yes, perfect, enormous moss rocks so that they can't see this. No one knows what's back here, but it's something tremendous. There. And then we can even get um, more fun and put that there. Look at that. Screened from the public eye. Forever. Uh, I do like these palms. Mm-hmm. See, this is like thick growth back here. Is that not the most ridiculous water station? Or, I'm sorry, power station, wind turbine? It's probably going to get no wind now that I've enclosed it like this, but I don't think the game factors that in. Uh, <laughs> but that's hysterical. Okay, so let's unpause it. And power source inaccessible. Yes, indeed. So they immediately tell you, what have you done? And I say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Let me make it accessible. Let me turn the maintenance on uh, to every three months. And let me also turn the maintenance on with you for every three months. Close it. And then we need to go to zoo, work zones, edit the work zone and toss in these turbines all right good and then now we need to go to water and see where we have water and we really don't have water at all for the giraffe habitat so we're going to need to um, select this and duplicate this and put it in a place that provides water but is also um, powered right so maybe here, this is far enough away from the path, correct? Let me uh, let me go to negative impact on guests. Oh gosh, it's got to be really far away. They hate this thing. But yes, that's perfect. So that's far enough away, and it provides water. Okay, so then let me build a path that is a staff path, like that. And then we need to do some similar work. Um, Where we just, you know, are going to move this over. Well, not up, necessarily. Up is funny. Just have it floating. It is cool that that's an option. All right. So that's now safely hidden. And then we need to go to zoo. And we need to go to work zones. And we need to edit the work zone and add that in. I'm of a mindset that also... I'm going to need to hire a new keeper and another vet. Mm, maybe not another vet, but definitely another keeper. And more vendors. I mean, always more vendors. One, two, and then um, we'll go back and we're going to hire a keeper here. And we're going to hire a another mechanic just to make sure. Perfect. And then we're going to go to work zones and just throw everybody in the work zone. We are getting to the point where we might need to start breaking up our work zones, but I think it's okay. And we unpause it, drop everybody in. Oh, we got some more VIP guests. Let's say hello. Oh, it's me. It's myself. I have arrived at my own zoo. Okay, I don't think I can handshake myself, but it's funny. 
what are my achievements? No crime, African elephant, and education. Yeah, wow. Staff are having a queue to use the facility. What is this? The keeper hut. Okay, great. We're going to need to build another keeper hut. So all we have to do... Look, it's Terror Kittens who's in there. I love this. I love naming it after friends of the channel and just, you know, giving it that extra personal touch. It's great. Um, it can't go there, unfortunately, but maybe I can get it to, to sync up over here. No. Do I need to start stacking? Is that what's going on here? First of all, if I do, it's the grid is ridiculous. It's it's behaving in a you know ridiculous fashion. I think I don't need to. I think I can just get away with um, putting this here and then using my own um, movement of it. I can just take this tree. I need to move this tree over here. And then this, I need to move. But I don't want to move it on the grid. I want to... I can't remember what you have to do to uh, take it away from the grid. Oh, no, that's good. That's a good stack. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, my God. Um... I want to move it, but I want to say, um, ah, it gets really tricky when you want to not, see, now I don't want to have it high up in the air. I want to put it on the ground. Oh my god. Something has gone wrong here. This is when things get a little bit wonky in Planet Zoo. Um, delete it. I want to build it, but on the ground. And I want to build it also, but not have to use the grid. But I can't remember... No, that's not it. I can't remember exactly what I need to do. I can make the grid smaller. That's what I can do. Yes. Perfect. So if I make the grid a lot smaller, then I can build this wherever I want. Or at least a little closer. Like that. And then what we can do is just take the path... That is the staff path and hopefully connect it. Yep. And then we just go to zoo and we go to work zones and we edit the work zone and we include this building. And then now let me unpause it and see if we get rid of that issue. Look. She's maintaining the water filtration system. How great is that? And we got the new animal at the zoo. And people are starting to queue up to look at giraffes. Let me look at our zoo. Everything is actually flying up. Even education ratings. So I think we're doing really, really well. But, I, oh, actually, let me go to staff and let me go to vet research. We need to take Jacqueline and put her on giraffe pronto. We need to be looking at the animals that we have and researching them. So everyone... This is just kind of the start of the giraffe habitat. I need to turn on all the education boards. Look at the sun coming through. And, you know, now we have giraffes in here. People are starting to look at them and be happy. We need to spruce this up. We've got our power and everything set. And we will get into that sprucing next time. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Take care.